Hi, today we will learn about modeling of airbag into LSDyna. So let's begin. First, form a curve. Just having a radius of 30 millimeter. Apply another circle of 30 millimeter radius. Apply, close. You just mesh it. Go to your blank measure option. This is a blank measure using curve. Uh, you can give a size of 10 millimeter. You can create, accept, done, and then translate your this particular PID to in vertical Z direction. Translate in vertical Z direction by a millimeter of one millimeter. Copy these elements. And uh, the, let's say the new part ID will be your PID2. All right, uh, are we missing anything? Just click on this, accept, done. Now we can see that we have two PIDs with this much gap. All right, now what we will do, we will merge the edges, uh, these edges at boundaries at all these edges coming from here for both these PIDs. So let's bring edge together. For that, let's select PID one and translate your edges, your uh, translate your nodes uh, in Z direction. Uh, you can select your shared option for that. Now, Select active entity, translated by half millimeter. Translate plus. Sorry, translate negative. Just uncheck this copy elements option. Now translate plus, accept. Similarly, bring that other entity downward by half millimeter. Then go to your translate option, half millimeter. This is again in shaded option, go to edge, active, bring it downward, translate negative, accept. Now you can, you will see that all edges at the boundaries should be, you are having duplicate nodes. Let's check that, go to your dupe nodes option, show dupe nodes, now you can see this. Now merge duplicate nodes, accept, done. Now select PID one only and just trim it using circle this. And your <clears throat> part measure, you are not the part measure, part trim option will do that. Where is part trim option we need to locate it is not in the mesh. Let's try in this element tools. Here's a part trim option. Just give you PID one and trim using curves. Trim, accept, done. Bring your uh, this small segment downward by thirty millimeter. Element translate. Element by propagate option 30 millimeter downward negative accept done what we can do we can create a segment out of it let's go to mesh your element generation option element generation this will be your uh, shell using edge drag option This is 30 millimeter segment bit two, Z1. Let's select the edge, propagate it by any degree, 45 degrees, let's say. Create in Z direction, create. All right, we have accept, done. Now we can look after your uh, duplicate notes we are expecting your dupe notes 
mesh go to your element tools tube nodes your uh, uh, show tube nodes merge tube nodes accept done now you can see that part id 3 must be empty now it is not empty then we need to transfer all your parts to part pid3 go to element tool move copy option uh, your pid1 move uh, active apply accept done now pid3 is all done we don't have pid3 all right <clears throat> now what we will do we will assign some sections to your uh, setup go to sections go to your shell let's say 0.38 millimeter is the thickness you can select element formulation 5 i comp equal to 1 accept done we have to assign now a new material for that you will go to your all go to material select hybrid not hybrid select matte fabric let's say this is a airbag material give a density of uh, 7 point uh, something i think the density is 7 point your uh, 7.8 e minus 7 ea is 0.5 eb you can skip it prb is your 0.3 damping ratio to be 0.3 you can accept it and you can assign these two to your uh, pid 1 1 accept one one accept this was not there you can delete it done right now we have only two pids now what you will have to do you have to import your uh, curve import your dot uh, uh, k file your uh, there has to be one curve option here to your curves and import import offset and once it is done you go to your hybrid in this section airbag hybrid uh, part ID set by daddy one we have not assigned it we will assign it so don't forget to assign it we will assign this property at most is 98 atmospheric pressure is 1.01 .01 minus uh, e minus 4 this is 1.29 e minus atmospheric temperature minus 9 GC is your uh, molar go gas constant 8.314 then we can have to supply this MW value molecular weight 0 0.0288 and is int option A 29.04 these are the parameter B coefficient and we can skip this 0 0 all right and we can click on insert then let's select another layer this time go for your LCM select your uh, part ID this your curve ID as 1 and LCDT select your curve ID as 2 all right now modify this MW value as uh, 0, 0.0 Two to five. Your int option as uh, zero, thirty-five point 
900 done you again click on insert click on accept now remember that we have not yet assigned this set id we have to assign it hybrid we can go to create let's go to create entity option set data set pid we had assigned a pid one there in hybrid so let's keep it one let's say active the whole option both will remain same we can click on apply show none now we had uh, checked your applied your airbag hybrid 2 now give a control termination see control termination termination let's give a 30 millimeter accept all right define your database database binary d3 plot event travel at one accept done you can assign your ask keys to So we can give a default interval of 0.1 and select binary 3 and we can switch on your airbag statistics. <sighs> and your uh, match sum GL stat as well. You have to select your match sum. Now you can click accept done. And you can save your uh, ID as your uh, my airbag. Can go to airbag and give my airbags I already have I have this and you can save it in the name of this my airbag and let's say this time I'm selecting as my airbag one save save and you will run it all right you can submit the simulation